This light is by Best Shoot. Best Shoot 3 meter waterproof LED light, uh, video light, fill light, night light for GoPro. It has a battery life of 1.5 hours on a high, which is the high intensity bright light. Uh, low light is four hours, and then SOS would be six hours just in case you got lost or a need to be found. So, and it says, and it says this battery can also be used on a GoPro camera. So we're gonna find that out really quickly. I got my GoPro right here. So we're gonna see if it actually works with the GoPro. Um, and it's a wide angle uh, light, uh, the way it projects, and it's 300 lumens. Let's go down to the uh, close-ups and see what this light looks like. Okay guys, so we're on the close-ups right here. Sorry, my iPad's in the way. So this is what the box looks like. Um, it's uh, very similar, uh, the packaging. Uh, it has this askew waterproof light right here. Uh, labeling, uh, it gives you a picture on the back of what it does. Uh, gives you like a layout. So again, uh, there's no instruction manual for this. There was uh, this little tiny warning label about the product. If you want to pause to read that, you can. It says to care for it. So this is what the light looks like. It's a shiny plastic, uh, unlike the matte. Come on, camera focus. There we go. So unlike the matte uh, finish of the other light, the Endor light, um, but this has a slimmer profile, a little bit, a uh, little bit smaller, a lot lighter for sure. Uh, as you can see, it has a GoPro mount on the bottom for any kind of grip that you're going to attach it to, any kind of selfie pole or grip that you're going to be mounting this on. It looks like it's weather sealed. Uh, right here with all these screws going around it. Three lights though, so that was really curious to me. So there's only three LED lights in here. Uh, I don't know if you can see that with all the all the reflectiveness, but there's one, two, three, and it has these like dome reflective material surrounding the light so that way it can project more. 300 lumens isn't the brightest, so let's go ahead and dive down to the accessories really quick. So the accessories, they give you a standard micro USB charging cable. Um, pulled out, out, well, I'll leave it in the bag. So you can see it right here, that's the cable. Come on, there we go. So that's the cable. They give you a GoPro mount with a screw and then they give you this tool which is kind of cool. This tool to uh, screw your GoPro on. I mean I could just do that but I guess if you really wanted to get it tight you would take this and you would just cinch that down even further. Um, so yeah, that's that's pretty cool. But no no um no diffusers, no anything like that. It's just the light, guys. Just just this. Just that. Oh wait, uh, let's dive into the battery casing right here. You have this latch. It's an okay latch. I feel like this plastic is gonna break on me. It doesn't feel that sturdy, although it looks sturdy and it I mean the shininess of it. Um and then you have the gasket right here, some foaming for your battery to keep that in place. You have your micro USB, uh, so that's recharge, and there's a light over it, so that way when you charge it, it turns on. And this is the, oh, this is the battery. This battery is a GoPro Hero 3 battery, Hero 3 Plus battery not the hero 3 the hero 3 plus like the the upgraded version of it that was my first gopro um this is not a hero 4 battery the hero 4 batteries look completely different i can even show you hero 4 battery went on a design a redesign because you don't put it in the back anymore you slide it in so it has this little tiny connection right there uh whereas this one has uh has the flat profile so you could see the difference right there. So yeah, anyway, so that would, if you had an older GoPro, I guess that would work. I mean, not all of us have GoPro uh, Hero 
fours or hero fives even. Uh, and again, guys, these will, well, all three of these will, uh, well, two of these will work with, uh, oh, that's weird. I definitely turned it off. So that's off. Wow, okay, so if you take the battery out and you put the, the battery back in, it automatically turns on the light. That is very interesting, guys. I don't know if I like that. That is just, then I have to turn it off, really? Like, SOS mode, turned off. Then I take the battery out. I want to charge it in my GoPro Hero 3 Plus charging little port. And I put it, oh my gosh, really? Guys, that is, I don't know if I like that. But anyway, so it seems reliable. Easy to explain. One click, uh, holding it down turns it on. And you can see how uh, the reflective, um, uh, material makes this these like lines so it's like a box you can like almost see a box right there I, I personally don't like that um, I feel like it's gonna cause problems with your lighting especially if you're lighting a subject or a wall or you have something behind you it's just gonna create a distraction um, it's a very big imperfection a very big con for me um, and then if you turn it, if you press it one more time, it's going to dim it. And then again, you t press it again, SOS, press it again and it turns off. It's going to do the job. It's going to be uh, bright enough for you to get uh, usage out of it. As you can see right here, I'm holding it face high. It's like a selfie kind of thing. And... Uh, it's not too bad. I mean, you can't, I mean, here's a low, the low setting. So that's a little better, a little bit more diffuse. What I'm gonna do is I'm going to, okay, that turn that off. And you guys get how it mounts. It mounts on the top and then the, just dropping everything. And the light sits on this and you screw it in. It is what it is. I mean, it's a $19 light. It has pretty good customer reviews on Amazon. Let me know in the comments if you have tested either of these, the Beast Proof, or sorry, Beast, the Best Proof Water LED Light, or the Andor LED Light. Where did I put that thing? It's back in the box. Um, uh, Andor Light. Tell me if, they, if you've dug it on a dive, is it waterproof? I want to know. I want to know for our com uh, for our subscribers. Um, it'd be great to hear your guys' what you guys did on the tests. Um, so yeah. Okay guys, so this is me ending what I was just talking about the other day. Uh, don't know what really happened. My cameras have been kind of stopping recording, stopped recording on me every once in a while. It's super weird. But anyway, here's my ending. If you liked it, thanks so much. Please give it a thumbs up. If you have any suggestions on what I should do next, please leave a comment. Uh, and if you guys want to buy this, uh, buy either of these lights, there's going to be a link in the description below. Please go ahead and click on those. If you really like those, check it out. And I'll see you guys next time. On a side note, if you guys like these reviews, this is my second review. If you guys like these, uh, give me a give me an indication uh, below in the comments, and I will uh, continue to do them. I'll try to find products that people use on a day to day basis, whether it's for video or home or whatever, and I will see if I can pick it up and try it. I really like doing these. I definitely will get better the more I do it. Um, and uh, yeah, let me know. Awesome. And thanks again. Don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to subscribe. On another side side note, I gotta really figure out that camera thing. I don't know what's going on, guys. I need I need to figure that out. Hmm. See you guys next week.